Welcome to Sessions in Biology, Episode 4, The Nucleus. I'm Ben Brownlee. And I'm Andrew Dudick. Today we will be discussing the functions of the nucleus. We will learn about the functions, the structure, and the history, as well as a few fun facts in this video. Make sure to pay attention closely, as you will be tested on every aspect of this video at a later date. The nuclear envelope is selectively permeable, meaning that it allows some substances to enter the nucleus, but not all. In this way, the nuclear envelope is similar to the bouncer at a party. It, does, it only allows certain individuals in, while rejecting others. Hey man, come on in. Oh, The nucleus is also involved in cell division, called mitosis. In this stage, the nucleus itself splits in half and divides half its chromosomes between the two cells that are created. In this experiment, this will be the nucleus, and it will divide. As you will see, the two parts will end up in opposite parts of the table, which we'll just use to represent the two sides of the cell. Also, before you start any experiment, you always want to wear safety glasses. You can see Ben has on here. Now the two sections of the nucleus, with their chromosomes, are in separate parts of the cell. This is a similar experiment showing mitosis. Each nucleus contains over 6 feet of DNA. This DNA has to be reorganized before it can be crammed into such a tiny little space. Not crammed. It's, as you can see, it's much easier to fit the DNA in the nucleus when it is neatly arranged, as opposed to when it is at its full length. You cannot just cram the DNA inside, it has to be neatly arranged. If this room was the cell, this ball would be the nucleus. Inside would be the DNA and the nucleolus. If that's the nucleus, then this ball, much smaller, represents the nucleolus. It produces ribosomes. <laughs> 